Hey guys, welcome to another video. So in today's video, I wanted to address a common question I've been getting a lot recently, and that is, am I eating less food than I was in Thailand? Am I eating less calories? So last week or the week before that, uh, recently I posted a video explaining why I switched from um, intermittent fasting, eating two meals a day to now eating your typical standard breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Um, and if you haven't seen that video already, I highly suggest you watch that before I explain in this video what's going on. So, um, a lot of the questions I'm getting is, am I eating less food? So, a lot of you who have been following me for quite some time now, and you've seen a lot of my What Ate Today videos, you know I love to eat big meals. I love to eat a large, satisfying, filling, nutritious meal, and I don't like skimping out on food, and I don't like eating little bits of food, and I don't like... Um, restricting food or restricting calories or portion controlling no I always eat as much as my body craves as much as my body feel as much as my body tells me that I need so if you see and you've noticed in my Instagram photos or my what I ate today videos that my my portions are a little bit smaller yes they are a little bit smaller because um, lately uh, since living here in England I have been eating a little less calories um, I don't know exactly because I haven't been tracking or haven't been um, using my fitness pal or chronometer lately because um, I've just really gotten in a place where I feel really comfortable just eating kind of whatever I want of how much ever I want and just really um, practice intuitive eating. Um, I've been on and off with intuitive eating for the longest time now, many years, um, and it I really enjoy it. Um, I think it's really, really enjoyable because it's 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 something that you don't really have to think about you just kind of go with the flow and listen to your body and listening to your cravings your wants and your needs and I'm really a huge advocate for that so um, I have noticed yes I am eating less food I'm eating I'm probably eating less calories because the portions do look a lot smaller um, but I'm not doing that in any way for weight loss I'm not doing that in any way to restrict food um, as I said I love to eat big but I'm eating to the point of my fullness so um, since I've gotten to England here, I have definitely not been as active because my my routine and my schedule has changed quite a bit. So um, for number one, I have taken on a lot more clients um, recently and that means a lot more computer work time. And so I'm a little bit more sedentary because of that. So I'm on the computer for a couple more hours um, here and there than I was in Thailand. Um, I still do commuting um, by foot, so instead when I was in Thailand, we did commuting by bike. It's really cold here. It's a little too cold in my opinion to be cycling around because when you're going really fast, it feels a lot colder than it is um, on top of the temperature, the chilly temperature that it already is. So um, I'm not cycling. Um, we're walking about two days a week to do our grocery shopping here and there. Um, but other than that, my routine, my exercise routine has changed quite a bit because I've definitely reduced um, the amount of time or the amount of activities that I'm doing. So currently right now, um, these last two weeks I've been here, I've been doing three days a week of HIIT workout body weight exercises and then also three days a week of yoga practice, which is about an hour. So that's alternating every other day. And it feels really comfortable, it feels really good, and I'm just eating the amounts that I need to fuel myself, to make myself feel good, feel vibrant. Um, um, I would never ever suggest to anybody to eat a certain amount of food because I know everybody's lifestyle, everybody's body is different, and we all require different energy needs. So I think it's super important to when given a base amount of calories or given a suggested amount of food to eat, I think you should cater it and switch it around a little bit to suit your needs properly. So I'm definitely still eating at least 2000 calories every day because I found even when I was really, really sedentary and I was just doing yoga and just walking here and there, I still ate at least 2000 calories when I was tracking. So I know I'm eating at least 2000 now. It's probably between 2000 and 2300 right now. Um, calories each day and it feels right it doesn't feel like I'm forcing myself to eat less it doesn't feel like um, that I'm pushing myself to do something that I don't want to do I'm just solely doing exactly what feels right for my body and I, I feel good with that so um, if you have noticed my portions look smaller yes I had noticed they look smaller too but I'm eating what feels right for my body and I'm not restricting it any sort of way and I would never ever promote restriction or calorie control or portion control or anything like that so if you were curious about the portion sizes you were curious if I'm eating less yes I'm definitely eating less than I was in Thailand because in Thailand I was very very active 
and I was eating probably about 2,500 to 3,000 calories um, daily then and I really don't need that much food. I would never ever suggest someone to eat um, that amount of food if they're not that active. Um, and if I were to eat the same amount of food that I was eating in Thailand, I would be very, very full and uncomfortable and bloated. And um, if you're eating too much food, you're also likely to feel less um, energetic. You'd be like lay lounging around, laying around, be like, oh, my tummy hurts. Don't feel like I have that um, motivation to move and go. So if you found this video helpful or inspiring, don't forget to hit the like button there. And if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe because I help you guys live a healthy vegan lifestyle. I will see you next time. Bye.